by Square Up Entertainment. And we have some big boys ready to bang here. Absolutely. These guys are ready to get it on right now. This announcer better get out of the way because these guys want to go right now. Mike McLean described his fighting style as a war as well. So I'm expecting fireworks, man. I think these guys are going to throw down. Now, it is worth noting that Mike McLean is in his debut, so we'll see how that whole stop for war goes once that first punch is landed by Gutierrez. Sometimes that's a major factor. When, but they both said that they want to get that fight of the night bonus, and one thing that's worth noting with Blake Gutierrez, he was suggesting Gaethje as his favorite fighter, along with talking about wanting to get the fight of the night. Get your popcorn ready. Ex exactly, exactly. These guys are zoned in, man. They're ready to go. I'm not expecting a very long feeling out process here. I'm just judging by the energy that they both have as they're uh, sitting right here in front of the third man referee, Bobby Wambacher. I would have to say that you're right. <laughs> they're going to come out firing. <laughs> Looks like they've each acknowledged that they want to touch up and then look for the next thing to be in. Some heavy leather flying. Absolutely. Here we go. Both fighters meet in the middle. Hard leg kick for Mike. And Mike is also level changing. Oh, they're sprinting across to each other straight back and forth. You know, Cody, I would like to see him kind of circle and work some angles a little bit better than straight back and forth. Though. No, absolutely. You know, you don't want to come in on a straight line. But like we said, this is McLean's first fight. You know, it's kind of nice to, to see that pressure and, and to respond to the to the, to the crowd and to the lights with, with pressure and, and aggression, you know. But now that we've had our first couple of exchanges, G Gutierrez has really kind of held the center of the cage, and he looks to be the man who's standing comfortable in the pocket. Yeah. But one thing that does kind of make it easy is it looks like he's breathing out of his mouth already, and it's only in the early part oh, of this first round. But that was a strong right hurt, hand. He hurt him with that right hand. Yeah, that's kind of what we were talking about. Like, you don't want to burn yourself out getting all the extra things pre-fight, right? You need, to, you need to be there and be able to perform when it's time to perform. He's managing his distance very effectively, though. He's slipping just out of range for McLean's punches, and he's landing on his own. He's shown some different looks from the top to the bottom all the way. I would like to see him kind of do some more level changes, though, because everything, his head's on the center line, you know? Ooh, oh, that's a strong left hand! McLean needs to work his back off the cage. This isn't where you want to be. He needs to circle, circle, circle. seen a couple of naked kicks there from McLean. Now, it's not to say that he is not backing up Gutierrez with it, but I would like to see him use a little bit more of a blend and not throw those naked kicks and leave him vulnerable for the counter punch straight down the shoot. Absolutely, shoes. and definitely don't throw those naked kicks with your head right on the line. That's how he's going to eat your right hand. Gutierrez Left hook lands by breathing McLean. heavy out of his mouth. be interesting to see how that plays going forward. Both of these guys are breathing heavy, it looks like. Yep. Now, whether that's from the body shots that McLean has taken so far, I couldn't tell you. But, neither way, these guys are throwing hard, and sometimes that's all it takes, Cody. You're throwing big, yeah. heavy punches, big, heavy kicks, yeah. and you're McLean's not always hitting. Oh, forward. a flurry of exchange! McLean's coming forward with those big, looping hooks. You know, he was able to get his back off the cage, but already has given up all that space. He needs to maintain the center when he works hard and takes the space. Talk to me about what it's like when you throw and miss. How does that tax the gas tank? Just like right there, we see a very big overhand right hook. Absolutely. So when you throw and miss, you're getting extremely tired. And then also when you're getting hit, you're getting tired. People don't think about that. They're like, I have great cardio. Everyone has really good cardio until they start getting hit in their face, hit in their body. Then it starts to deplete your gas tank. Then as you throw and whiff and miss, your gas tank gets less and less and less. And when you breathe out your mouth, you're more likely to get knocked. Absolutely. And speak to the mechanics of that. You know, when you have to start breathing out of your mouth, how much more of a susceptibility, just from being in that position alone, how much more danger are you in? You're in a lot more danger. You know, when you're breathing out of your mouth, you see these guys just kind of plodding, stepping forward. You're not focusing on your footwork. You're not focusing on your feints. You're not focusing on your, your game plan. You're just focusing on breathing. And so when you're breathing so heavy out of your mouth, it's hard to move your head. It's hard to do anything. You're getting hit in your face and your jaw is open, it's much easier to get knocked out. Certainly. I would love to hear what's being said in the corner of Mike McLean right now by James Alexander. 
you know, he, he has to hopefully be telling him to start working some better angles. You know, he, he's just he's backing up and giving away that position, just like you said. Hold your ground a little bit more. Right, and even if you're not going to hold your ground, he's work, he has been able at some points in this fight, been able to take the space. When he hits those flurries, he backs Gutierrez up almost on a straight line. He needs to maintain the space that he's working so hard to take. What would you be looking to hear from Gilbert Smith if you were in the corner of Gutierrez? Oh, I would tell him to take about 30% off his punches and be more accurate, right? Touch, 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 and then land a big one. Throw a jab, throw a jab, then land a big one. Everything you throw doesn't need to be 100% coming from your hip, right? I get we're in a firefight. I get you're fired up. But let's be accurate. Let's, the accurate punch is going to be way more powerful than the one you miss. Absolutely, you know. Oh, Gutierrez is having a good time smiling in there and instantly backs him clean straight up. I tell you what, man, he had some of the best energy at the weigh-ins yesterday. It was it was infectious across the board. He was walking around, laughing, smiling, talking to everybody. So, you, you know, a happy fighter sometimes really is just a dangerous fighter in general. Oh, it looked like a leg kick. I guess it was maybe a low blow. And that's two for two tonight, Jordan. That is. We might we might need to start getting that, uh, that ticker roll <laughs> like Paul Felder talks about in the UFC broadcasts. Now... We don't have instant replay here tonight, folks, so that's not something that I can really give you a solid review of whether it landed or where it landed. Seems like he's all right. It does. That was uh, about maybe a, a minute of uh, minute of break. Oh, the action is great. What's up, bro? Okay. Gutierrez is, is pressuring. He's pressuring. Oh, Gutierrez is talking now. He's getting his Diaz on, and he comes with the blitz in one, two. Stuffing the takedown up against the fence from McLean. So he doesn't want to strike here. He wants to find the head, the head pr pressure, and he wants to find the head position. He needs to gain position first before he tries to strike. He needs to break off. Gutierrez Sometimes when you see those arms thrown up like that, that's either uh, what's up or, uh, oh, man, I've got a lot of blood in my arms. Absolutely. Big, big deep breath from Gutierrez. You know, he's pressuring hard. And I just think if he would take the emotions out of it, his gas tank would be able to be a little more efficient. He's putting money in the bank, though, right there with that body shot. He had a strong right cross to the body. Absolutely. He needs to work that jab, work the body. You know, these guys are headhunting hard. Oh, oh I need a right that. hand. Ate that shot. What a, what a beard on Gutierrez, man. He's really, he's really just taking these shots and coming forward, and that can be discouraging for someone like McLean who knows, who knows he's landing, but is having no effect. Describe that in detail. When you hit somebody as hard as you can, and that man's still standing in the pocket smiling at you, what is going through your mind? I mean, it definitely messes with you, man. It, it makes you, it, it, it makes you think that you're you're not effective. What you're doing isn't working, and, and it can break you mentally. And, and this sport is so mental that any mental edge you can get is going to be huge in a fight. That leg kick is hurting him. He yes. needs to keep throwing that leg kick. He needs to keep chopping those legs because those are hurting McLean. You know, Cody, just by the look on McLean's face. Oh, and there's a strong left hook to the jaw. I was about to say, if he goes to the body a couple more times. That might open it up right there for the either going down by body shot or for sure dropping the hands enough to where he might be able to find that finishing blow. If he keeps kicking his leg, he will win this fight by TKO. Oh, and that was a strong body kick. And it is, it is all over right there. Gutierrez shrugs it off right there. He looks like a boss. He says, I've been here before and I have done this a time or two. Absolutely. And that's kind of like what we talked about before the fight started, right? That experience, that that weather the storm, that weather these firefights, the flurries that these guys were getting in, because they both came in to take each other's heads off. Gutierrez was able to conserve his energy a little bit better and keep going back to the well with that leg kick, right? He was doing that damage. The guy, McLean couldn't move. He, he had his back on the cage. He was a sitting duck. And, you know, I think a lot of that is experience, never being in a fight, never feeling that 100% leg kick. You know, we're not wearing shin pads in here. It's a different deal. It's a different feel, just like I said. And, you know, like, like I said, I think the experience paid off, and Gutierrez was able to secure the win and the finish. Absolutely. And would you say that you believe that the body shot right there up against the fence is what kind of was the uh, was the, the checkmate? The ground and pound was just a little bit of icing on the cake. Absolutely. You know, that, that body shot hurt him. He dropped. The ground and pound was just to secure the finish. And now with the official decision.
show of respect there. You know, it's good to see when two guys get in a war like that and are really trying to go after each other to do that. Absolutely. Let's see what uh, Mr. Gutierrez has to say here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Mr. Blake. heartfelt message there for Mr. Gutierrez. You know, you, you have to love to 